Hi everyone, I'm Johan. Today I'm going to talk a bit about the Square Software Engineer interview process. By the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of the process itself, including the various stages of the interview, how to prepare, and tips for success. I'll also talk around a unique round that sets Square apart from other companies, so stay tuned till the end. Quick intro, I'm from Prepfully. This overview has been put together by Square Software for engineers who are also interview coaches on Prepfully, the very same ones who have helped hundreds of candidates with mock interviews and advice. This is a video version of our much more in-depth written guide, which we'll link within the description. And you can always book time with the coaches directly for more personalized guidance on Prepfully's website. Right then, on to the interview. The Square Software engineering interview process consists of three primary rounds, the phone screen, the coding phone screen, and the virtual on-site interview. Let's first discuss the phone screen. This typically lasts between 15 and 20 minutes and includes basic questions about your previous work experience, organizations you have worked with, your skill sets, and so on. I've got four actionable tips here to help you ace the recruiter screen. Tip one, make sure you have a short and crisp introduction ready to go when the recruiter asks, tell me about yourself. Tip two, before the interview, decide on what specific projects that you would like to talk about. Focus on challenges you faced, solutions you came up with, and how it impacted your work. Tip three, it's a good idea to share a memorable nugget about yourself to stand out. It could be a unique hobby, a personal achievement, anything that sets you apart from other candidates. Tip four, finally, have a clear reason for why you want to work at Square. Do your research on the company's mission, values, and culture, and be prepared with an honest, authentic explanation. Right then, next is the technical coding screen. Square conducts this remotely over Zoom, and it typically includes one or two coding problems related to data structure and algorithms. Let's quickly look at a few tips for success. Square's technical screen doesn't necessarily involve typical leaked code or hacker rank questions. You may be asked questions related to real world scenarios. So make sure you fully understand the problem before you write code. Break it down into smaller sub problems to write clear and concise code. Here again, be prepared to talk about your past projects, your role in them, and decide in advance which ones you want to leverage for different stories, such as something you were particularly proud of versus something you learned a lot from. Right then, next is the on-site interview. Like the technical screen, Square's on-site interview is also conducted over Zoom. There are two types of interviews to this round, two to three technical interviews and a behavioral interview. It includes a mix of pair programming interviews, technical Q&A sessions, system design interviews, and a behavioral interview. So, the pair programming interview is what sets Square apart from other companies. Unlike traditional coding interviews, you have to collaborate with the interviewer to solve practical design-orientated problems using common data structures. I have four tips for this round. To begin with, make sure you have a good grasp on various concepts in algorithms, including sorting algorithms, parsing, recursion, data structures, and so on. Remember, square coding questions are typically related to real-world scenarios rather than abstract leak code or hacker rank questions. So make sure you spend five to 10 minutes discussing and understanding the problem. Take notes if needed. Finally, bounce ideas off of your pair, the interviewer, to hack up a working code and demonstrate your ability to collaborate effectively. This interview covers a tremendous amount of ground and is one of the harder ones to get through since you have to be super efficient with your answers. If you think practice could help, there are several Square software engineers who provide great practice and guidance on dealing with the twists and turns in this interview. And you can book a slot with them on Prepfully. Link in the description below. Moving on to the next round, the system design interview. This round is an opportunity for you to demonstrate your ability to design scalable and efficient systems. You may be asked to design a system related to a fault torrent system for a ride sharing application or a similar problem. Here's my three tips for this round. First, make sure you consider concerns such as data storage, data privacy, and scalability when designing your system. Second, clearly communicate the trade-offs and explain your design choices in detail. Finally, collaborate with your interviewers and be open to their feedback and suggestions. This brings us to the final round, the behavioral interview. Square calls this the project experience interview. This is where interviewers typically evaluate your experience with challenging situations, ability to resolve conflicts, relationships with coworkers, etc. 
Here's what I suggest you do to perform well in this round. Review your past experiences and identify specific examples that demonstrate your abilities in areas such as leadership, problem solving, and communication. Practice answering behavioral questions under simulated interview conditions to refine your responses and get confident. You can schedule one-on-one -on -one mock interviews with Square Software Engineers on Prepfully, who will provide a personalized guidance and valuable feedback to pinpoint your areas for improvement. And that's a wrap on the Square Software Engineer interview process. Don't forget to check out our more in-depth written guide in the video description and book a slot with Prepfully Software Engineer coaches for personalized guidance. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Our website is prepfully.com. We've got lots of interview questions there. You can also schedule a mock interview with one of our experts. You can find the link in the description below. All the best from us at Prepfully, and we hope you totally rock your interview.